Hi, Emily Farber with Leopard Krieger Realtors in Iowa City, Iowa. The topic of today's video is tips for preparing your house for your professional photography session. If you're here watching this video, it means you're probably so close to having your listing go live on the MLS. I know you should be doing a little happy dance for yourself because it's a really exciting time. Your online presence, your your photos that are out there all over the internet, they make a huge impression upon buyers. People say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, then that means that real estate photography is worth a couple of thousand dollars in your pocket. Why is that? Well, 95% of buyers end up looking for real estate online according to the National Association of Realtors. So being properly prepared for your real estate photography is a big deal. Hey, I've prepared a free download of these tips and suggestions for preparing your house for professional photography. It's quite an extensive list. I just don't have time to talk about all of it on a YouTube video unless I want to put everybody to sleep, which I don't. So why don't you just download it and that way you'll be sure to hit all of the important points as you prepare for your photography session. All right, outside your house, obviously you need to make sure that your yard is tidy mow the grass, trim the bushes, sweep the porch and the patio. If you've got uh, hoses, coil them up so that they look neat and tidy. Tuck away those garbage cans and recycling bins. And also, you need to get the cars out of the driveway. There's going to be exterior shots taken, and we don't want cars sitting on the driveway or even really in front of the house if you have any control over that. I'm sure you probably realize it, but toys laying around the yard, pet messes laying around the yard, none of that's going to showcase well, so clean up your stuff. Inside the house, a lot of this is overlapping with what you're probably already doing in order to prepare for showings. You need to clean carefully and extensively, you need to declutter, and you need to depersonalize. Some specifics, put away the clothes, put away the shoes, put away the toys. Make sure you don't have stacks of books, magazines, or mail sitting on tables and tables, counters. You need to depersonalize. If you have a, a whole family picture montage wall, I'm sure it's gorgeous and it brings you a lot of joy, but that's going to throw off buyers. Buyers are going to look at that and they're only going to be able to see you. They're not going to be able to imagine themselves in the house. So you have to pack anyway. Pack those things away. It's okay to leave one or two personal photos out, but you really need to pare it down to the bare minimum. Think about your artwork, your wall decor, and your wall decorations. Get rid of anything that could potentially be controversial. In the bedroom, make sure you put away all your personal items and make the beds neatly. This is not the time for just flopping the cover up. Um, if you have matching linens, Go all out on your ocd ness and match the comforter to the sheets, to the pillows. Make it look as luxurious as you can. In the main living areas of the house, obviously you need to make them as neat and tidy as you can. If you've got electrical wires, you know, coming down off of a TV or a stereo, roll those up and tuck them out of sight. They're not going to look good in a picture. While you're at it, dust all of those electrical um appliances because they attract dust and they'll look dusty in photographs. Obviously you need to sweep or mop your floors and then with the carpets, um, don't be chaotic in your carpeting pattern. <laughs> Think farmer-like straight rows so that you get the, the pile um, of the carpet looking like it's been vacuumed in straight rows. Turn on all your lights and lamps including under kitchen cabinet lights, curio lights if you have any furniture cabinets that have lights in them, the light under the microwave if you have a light um, above your stove. Get all of those lights turned on. Make sure that the bulbs are operating properly. A burnt out light bulb in a photograph sticks out like a sore thumb. What also sticks out like a sore thumb is mismatched bulbs. If you've got warm bulbs and cool bulbs in the same fixture, it doesn't look good. So pick one or the other and just go for it. 
consider some fresh flowers. They're really gonna add a pretty touch and a little life to your house. A bouquet of flowers on the table, as well as smaller vase with some flowers in the bathroom will really look nice. In the kitchens and the bathrooms, and the bedrooms for that matter, make sure that trash cans are put away. Um, I want you to clean and polish your fixtures in the kitchens and the bathrooms. Make sure that all the dishes are put away in the kitchen and all countertop space is clear. I want wide open spaces. Think Wyoming for the kitchen. Wide open, baby. Put away the toasters, the coffee makers, um, you know, the container that you're holding your spoons and spatulas in. Put all of that away. In the bathroom, we don't want to see any of your personal grooming items. I don't want to see your toothbrush. I don't want to see your container of Q-tips. I don't want to see your shampoo. I don't want to see the loofah that you scrub your back with every day. Put it away. Nothing looks sadder or sloppier in real estate photography than toilets hanging open. Look, I know that we all have to go to the bathroom, but we like to pretend that we don't. So shut the toilet lid and make sure that you have your toilet paper roll full. An empty toilet paper roll is just a, a subtle low key signal that you might not be taking care of other maintenance items on your house. Hey, thanks for joining me on my video. I appreciate it. I hope you found it useful. Like I mentioned, I have a lot more tips in my how-to guide, which you can download below. Check it out, it's in the description section. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you would. Be sure to hit that bell down below because then you'll get a notification when I put out a new video, which, by the way, is at least once a week. And I really think they're useful videos if you are in the process of thinking about buying or selling real estate. I also sprinkle in some feature stories about the greater Iowa City area, as well as do-it-yourself projects that almost anybody can tackle. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.